Growing up, I grew up into a family of brokenness. Um, my father struggled a lot with um, severe addiction and my mom was a single mom just kind of struggling to make ends meet. That shaped a lot of the way I viewed the world. Um, so I didn't have any faith or belief background. Uh, my mom didn't go to church. No one in my family really went to church except my grandma and we didn't go with her. My life was pretty empty. Um, I was always seeking the next thing to satisfy or fulfill myself. After I encountered Jesus, um, I had never been baptized, so uh, my senior year of high school, I wanted to get baptized like really bad. I just couldn't wait any longer. So I got baptized at my Protestant church in August of 2019. And that was when the Holy Spirit was really able to dwell inside my soul. And um, it was so evident because two weeks later, I made the silent decision to pursue Catholicism, which just proves how incredible baptism is and um, how the Holy Spirit can really work. I started to pursue Catholicism because I met this guy in high school who's Catholic. I started to take it more seriously being Catholic. When we started going to both churches, we made a compromise, I guess, um, to go to my <laughs> Presbyterian church and his uh, Catholic church every Sunday. And secretly, I was hoping that he would find a love for the Protestant faith, but it didn't turn out that way. I fell in love with the Catholic faith and it was um, a calling, I think the Lord put in my heart early on, but I was shoving it down and didn't want to listen to it because I was fearful of what that meant. The pandemic definitely had an impact on the way that I approached joining the Catholic Church. I couldn't wait anymore. And so I reached out to Father Hour um, at St. Clair. I joined the church October 1st of 2020, which is the feast day of St. Therese. And she had a lot of intercession during this wonderful journey that I took. I believe God is calling me right now to spread joy through the littlest things. Um, by loving others, I think I find a lot of the joy I'm able to give because He's shown His love to me. I have this joy in my life because I know Jesus. Um, it's a relationship that's undescribable. And I always tell people um, that joy is more a posture. It's not an emotion that just comes and goes. It's a lifestyle. Um, we can have joy in the midst of trials like a world pandemic because our God's a God of promises. 